to carry a bag of food home to her children. Through an interpreter, I tried to engage her in a conversation. I asked her, so what are your hopes? What are your hopes for you and your family? And her answer chilled me. She said, my hope is to live another day. Can you imagine the abject despair that somebody must feel for th themselves, their family, when their hope is to live just one more day? But there are also moments of epiphany. I remember one day standing knee deep in water, throwing bags of food uh, off of a, a truck with Matt Damon. I asked him why. With all his celebrity status, he was here up to his knees in muck, knowing that we couldn't feed but even a small proportion of the people that were in the lineup and that we were going to leave a lot of people bitterly disappointed. He told me that when he was growing up in Boston, his parents had a quote from Gandhi attached to the refrigerator door. And the quote went as follows, no matter how insignificant what you do may seem, it is most important that you do it. And that simple saying became his lodestar. And that became for me an inspiration as well, because I realized that the problems are not insurmountable if we just approach them one step at a time, one individual life at a time, one problem at a time. If we all accept our share of the burden, the burden becomes lighter. And in Canada, we have lots of reason why we should be optimistic. Almost 23 million Canadians, or 84% of the population, make a financial donation to a charitable cause, which is very impressive, third best in the world. In fact, Canadians report almost 10 billion in financial donations for the last year. And at the global level, even in the midst of all the doom and gloom that we read and consume every day in the news, uh, because there is a lot of gloom and doom, even with all of that, the world is a better place today than it was last year and 10 years ago and 20 years ago, even though it may not seem uh, that way to us. 95% of the people on the planet now have improved their standard of living. In fact, the standard of living has doubled on this planet in the last 40 years. Six of the world's 10 fastest growing economies right now are in Africa. In fact, Africa now has 600 mobile phone users more than either America or Europe. Bill Gates was on TV just a week or two ago uh, being interviewed. He said that in 1960, 20 million, children, uh, 20 million children died each year under the age of five. Today, that number is six million a year. Still a terrible number, but a dramatic improvement from what it was. Many diseases have been eradicated. Others have been brought under control. We live in a world of better health, better education, rising incomes, and more democracy. And we live in a world of hope. 